Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day today. I've got my um, top on, which is, uh, as you can see, dragon fruit. Um, pretty appropriate. Now I'm in uh, Bali, right? Because that's one of the most uh, popular uh, fruits here, drag dragon fruit. It's really beautiful. It's very, very delicious. How are you all doing, guys? Today's a great day. We're going to talk about something which is pretty much quite deep in a... Um, and probably going to rock a few people's boats, maybe hopefully make you think a little bit and say, you know what, maybe I can be a little bit more open-minded and maybe what Mark's saying makes a little bit of sense. Not everything makes sense that I say, but some things may do. Take from that, use it, and grow. That's how it is. So some things will make sense, some things won't. Some things that will make sense to others won't make sense to you and vice versa. So please try and take as much from it and understand. Now, this information I share with you is pure 100% experience. So make make of it what you will. So the story is, um, and it's very interesting, the story is uh, visualization, okay? Um, what is visualization? Is it a wonderful thing? Does it work? And um, is there any dangers to it in any way? I think anything in life is beautiful. What is a what is a visualization? Is it new, not just an extension of your thought and feeling? Uh, is it not just a dream? Okay, well, in the world of self-help spirituality, uh, visualization is a form of um, calling upon the universe to give you what you want. Okay, that's kind of like what visualization is because really you have to think about what you want first of all and then visualize it so you have to think about what you want it's a dream it's a thought it's a feeling right okay so this is why I'm I'm trying to explain something to you what a visualization means okay it isn't something that I believe that is deeply ingrained into your heart and soul that you know is going to be part of your journey it's just something that you want right <laughs> a dream it's i'd like that i'd want that i'd like the nice car i'd like the nice house i'd like the nice uh, holiday i'd like this i'd like that it's something that you like or need or want okay a visualization that's what you that's predominantly what it is do you visualize uh, the world wanting love and peace maybe that's a little bit of a different energy isn't that more like a prayer that um, the universe can help change the world and bring peace and love so that's slightly different let's talk about our visualizations okay I'm gonna start by a story and the story goes before I came onto this journey of um, becoming a psychic and a healer full-time um, I'd moved into the magical mountains of Mias Pueblo left everything behind and funnily enough, our first landlord was a couple who owned a crystal shop in the village. And for some reason, uh, we was in that shop. We had nothing at the moment at that particular time. We were just settling in. Um, and we went in for some reason about the house. I'm not so sure uh, whether we were doing something or whether we wanted something. So we went into their shop. And... Uh, she handed me a video after we spoke and the video was called The Secret and I said what's this? She said just watch it. I said okay. So I had no idea what it meant but it was kind of fascinating because it was The Secret. So I went home and watched this video and I was pretty much absorbed into the whole of buying into these amazing um, people who were speaking and uh, I could feel their stories and then it all came about what this video was about it was called the law of attraction and to visualize whatever you want and you will manifest it and i was fascinated i, w I was gripped by it and thought wow this is new okay um but one of the things uh, which struck me was a, a guy who was saying if you want something here's the secret you go if you want a car you go into a car showroom you get into that car, you smell the leather, you hold the, the wheel of that car and believe that's your car. And, and his last words, like everybody else was, is if you believe it enough, it will manifest and you will have it. You will have the dream house. You will have, it was all basically about abundance and wealth of, of, of um, 
having the fancy house and the fancy car. Well, of course, at that time, I wasn't into spirituality. But remember, I gave up everything from <coughs> the UK, all my businesses, and left all that behind. I had the fancy car, I had the big house. Uh, I had everything that I wanted, and that didn't bring me any happiness. So that wasn't really what fascinated me, other than the idea, the concept of creating something by visualization. Okay, so, cut a long story short, I never thought anything about it because I didn't want anything. So I really wanted to know who I was and my purpose in life and visualization wasn't going to do that because visualizing what they told me was for, for you know, physical and, 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 you know, things. So that wasn't going to work. I wanted to know who I was and what my path was and why I was here. So I left it anyway. As coincidence happens, spirits help in hand. <laughs> um, people started just entering into my life and over the years from then on everything just started happening in its own magical flow. Never asked for anything, never wanted anything. I didn't actually want to know who I was uh, per se at that moment. I just wanted to get rid of the pain and suffering that I was feeling of being lost. So all of a sudden all of these things were coming into my life and a few years later now I'm at a position that all of a sudden um, we've got two shops uh, getting rid of one of the shops because I decided that I was really loving what I was doing which was the psychic work and I moved into Tickle Pink upstairs to start a career full-time of being a healer and psychic okay remember this all happened naturally I never asked for anything or wanted anything at all it just came into my life so here am I now working away every single day and I one morning I'm walking past a little shop in the village and I used to look at this shop, never thinking anything about it, but I thought, you know what? That shop's been empty for years. It's a little tiny shop. Wouldn't it be nice if I could maybe just buy that shop and uh, turn upstairs into a healing center and downstairs into a little crystal shop because I was loving working with crystals at that moment. Remember, this is about 15, 13 years ago. So then all of a sudden, this thought came into my head of um, this DVD being given to me. And uh, remember, I not even on this spiritual path, I'd never entered the thought about visualization and the law of attraction whatsoever because I everything was created and given to me without even a thought. So I thought, okay, let's see if it actually works. Ne never thinking one way or another, I thought, okay, let's see if it works. So I remember the words that this guy said, hold on to the wheel of the car. So it was early morning, had my two schnauzers, Daisy and Dennis, and looked around, nobody was there, and I walked up to this little shop, and I held on to the, the rusty bars, and looked through the windows, and looked at it, closed my eyes, and visualized this shop full of crystals, and upstairs being my healing room, and I thought, wow, okay, do it. And you know what, I put 100% energy into this from that moment on. I thought if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. I am going to believe 100%. Every day, nearly every day when I was um, in my house, if I wasn't working uh, abroad, I'd still close my eyes in the morning and afternoon and evening and visualize that little shop. I became fascinated. I'll be honest, I became infatuated with this little shop. I really did. So every morning I'd go past, hold on to the bars of the of the door and, and even the, the handle and see me opening the door. And I was a good student, I really was. I followed it by the book. I followed the secret to the book. Everything they said, I watched again, listened and, and visualized every day, did the visualization board, did everything, okay? And all I wanted was this one shot, okay? That's all I wanted. Now, prior, to this I'd found out the shop um, wasn't available uh, it was empty it wasn't available because of three or four members of the family who all owned a part of that shop anyway I got to find out how much they wanted for it which was three times the amount of what it was worth so there was no way in hell that I was gonna be able to buy that okay it was like nearly 300,000 it was tiny it wasn't worth 90,000 anyway a day came that there was a, a billboard up and uh, it said for sale so I went to uh, have a look. The guy wanted, uh, the whole family said, look, the best they'll take is 165,000. And I thought, what the hell? Let me see if I can go to the bank and say I can borrow the money. 
So I said, okay, if I can borrow the money, uh, will you sell it to me? He said, yeah, we'll sell it to you. I said, okay, I'll buy it at that price. Went to the bank, managed somehow uh, to get a yes. A few weeks later, I went back and said, right, when do we proceed? He said, we sold it to somebody else. Now, I want to tell you something in between all of this. Even at that point, I still believed it was my place. And I went away and I said, by the way, okay, you've sold it to somebody else. If they don't want it, I want it. And every night I'd hold on to the bars, every morning hold on to the bars until the day came that there was a sign saying opening soon, shoe shop. So I knew it had sold it and gone to somebody else. It wasn't mine anymore. I've got to tell you guys, uh, with my hand on my heart, there's a lot more to this story. But I spent between two and three years visualizing and going up to that door of that shop every single day, every day, without doubt or, or worry. Even at the point where they'd sold it to somebody else, I still believed it was mine, okay? At the point that that shop opened and I met the lady who actually, she's in the shop, she likes it, but it wasn't really a dream and, and goal to have that shop and I'm thinking, Jesus, it was my dream and goal to have this shop. How come I didn't get it? She didn't even really was that bothered. Her father bought it for her just to run a business. So that's one point. So anyway, I'm walking down the road and feeling pretty bad now. Feeling like maybe I have done something wrong. Maybe I, I, I didn't perform the secret correctly. Maybe my visualizations were all wrong. Maybe, just maybe, that the spirit world, that the universe doesn't want me to have anything. Maybe I'm a bad person. Maybe I, I've got curses and bad luck and all of these thoughts and feelings, okay? All of a sudden, uh, I walk past um, the fruit and vegetable shop. And as I walk past the fruit and veg shop, I was on the other side of the fruit and veg shop. I'm feeling all these feelings and all of a sudden, I heard this voice say to me, Everything is as it should be. Where you are right now is where you're meant to be. But where you will be taken to is exactly where you're going. And I tell you, I kid you not. I knew where that message came from. I knew it was my mum. A sigh of relief came over me. I understood what was said at that given moment. I invested nearly three years of my life in the secret and the law of attraction and visualization. I looked up and laughed and said, okay, I think I've learnt my lesson. At that moment, a sudden weight had lifted from me of the expectations of wanting something to just simply allowing. Another few yards as I walked and smiled and laughed at what I'd done and realized I just shook my head and said, I can't believe I invested three years in that, but I am finally glad I understand the lesson. I suddenly turned to the right and noticed a building that I'd never noticed before. I've seen it before, I walked past it for years, but never noticed it quite like I noticed it today. It wasn't the bottom section of the building, but what I was fixated on was the, the top part of the building, what looked to be really modern and really beautiful, and it had a beautiful open window as the front window and the balcony had open glass and it it was just like blew me away and I looked and the other two buildings where people were in there but this building was empty anyway I noticed and it was getting a little bit dark because I'd walking back it was it was getting a bit dark and I noticed a lady outside and I crossed the road and she was on the balcony next door to the place I was looking at and I said is that building empty? She went, see, yes. I said, do you think I can rent it? She said, yeah, I think so. She gave me the number. I rung Ben up. Ben said, yeah, sure you can rent it. The keys to that place were placed in my hand uh, three days later. The rent was amazing. If I could have designed a building to create the Pure Energy Healing Academy, if I could have placed that building anywhere in the village, I could not have made or placed that particular building that I walked into and had rented now for the past years to be the most amazing, perfect academy that many people, many thousands have come to experience 
the art of learning pure energy healing. The point of this story today, guys, is really simple. I believe that there is a universal flow. It is the law of the universal flow. And that is, everything is as it should be. And I now believe in that wholeheartedly. And I know from my own experience and truth that sometimes when we visualize, when we invest on, in something so much, that really all that can happen in the end if we don't get it is sadness, disappointment. However, if we turn that around and say we are not going to invest in anything, however, we are going to simply trust and believe that what we deserve in our life will flow into our life at the right moment, then you live a perfectly balanced, happy life with the knowing that everything is as it should be and where you're taken to at any given moment is how it's meant to be. Every failure that I have or believed I have had was never really a failure. It was simply my expectations of what I thought I deserved and should have and I need and I want. And once I let go of all that, then I was able to free myself to the universal flow, to take notice of everything that they're trying to show me at any given moment. How could I have ever seen that beautiful academy when all I ever did was fixate fixate on a set of bars and a building that I thought should have been mine when really all along spirit was trying to guide me to the right place I walked past my academy many times I was too busy visualizing on a certain thing that I thought was for me that my mind convinced me of so I guess the moral of the story is really simple if you have faith if you trust that the guidance of this universal flow, this unique, amazing, special love and energy that flows from another world to help and guide us and to help us grow stronger and to give us what we want, when we want, when we need it most. And if we truly trust in that, then I believe everything is as it should be and everything will come into our lives. And I also believe that what stops us from achieving all of those wonderful things that we are given every day that we miss is because of the things like the secret, things like visualizations. I simply believe that now my life is perfect no matter what happens and what doesn't happen, what comes into my life or what doesn't come into my life. It's equally as beautiful. That's how I live my life. So, what are you going to buy into? The secret, the law of this universe of attraction, or are you going to simply flow with the universal flow? The choice is yours. I know what choice I made from that moment on, and I've never looked back, and I've never been as happy and successful in all ways, shapes, and forms that's my truth today that's my story i love you all i hope it's a little bit of food for thought maybe just maybe i may be wrong and you may say to me you did the law of attraction and it worked for you then that's beautiful i'm happy for you i really truly am who knows <laughs> we we all we all experience what we experience so i hope that even if one person understands this and may change their life from the worries and fears of not getting what they want because they visualized it to feeling that they've done something wrong and there's something uh, really really bad and dark and negative about you hopefully this story will have shaken you up a little bit to help you realize that there's nothing wrong with you you're perfect and the only thing we should ever do is let go of everything and allow the universe to help us flow in the direction that they know us more than we know ourselves. We made, I believe, an agreement before we came here. And the people, the loved, our loved ones in spirit said, before we came here, we're going to always gently whisper to you to help you along that journey that you asked to come here to experience. Whether good, whether bad, whether sad, whether amazing, but we will always guide you as much as we can. And that is what I believe the universal flow is. 
Spirit's helping hand. Have a great day from my heart to yours. Thank you once again for going to markbyerski.com and buying your beautiful shamanic tools, uh, crystals, uh, incense sticks. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day. Take care.